Hey, what's going on guys? I have a Yabo here, open on camera. And I want to show the dress, but this is coming from Jack in Brooklyn. All right, gonna pop this uh, package open with this large cryo. All right, happened to be my EDC today, so that's what we're gonna use. Nice and sharp. All right, let's see what we got here. Actually, there we go. Wow, oh, right off the bat, I see some treasure. More treasure. Okay, so package is officially opened. I don't think we're gonna need this uh, knife anymore. Well, I don't see why not. There we go. <laughs> don't really need it for the scotch tape, but as you guys know, I just absolutely love the, uh, you know, using knives. So, all right. <laughs> I see a San Ramu here. I see um, a, uh, a Sabenza. <laughs> we'll talk about that more in just a second here. No note, are you kidding me? Come on, Jack, you send this awesome stuff up. Oh, see that, there is a note. Sorry, I almost yelled at you. You gotta have a note. All right, wait, let me make sure I can read this on camera. It says, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, I think I can read it on camera. Usually it's like a big section that says, don't read on camera. All right, hey Jeff, it's been some time. Congratulations on the wedding, my friend. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, here are a couple of things. Bottle opener, uh, says another hobby we share. Yes, this is definitely going in the collection. I love bottle openers of all kinds. I have a, um, something like this, it's a Yingling one that I had another viewer send that I, I have in my collection. These are awesome to throw on your keys. I mean, uh, sometimes bars will give this away. Uh, liquor store sometimes will have it on for sale for like a dollar or something like that but that is super cool it's going right in the collection um also holiday silver for your stack let's take a peek at that holiday silver frigging awesome man look at that we got a mailbox here it looks like a little robin on top beautiful like country scene happy holidays 2013 it says best wishes for peace and joy this holiday season one tray ounce, 999 fine silver. Super cool. Thank you so much. I mean, that that silver blows me away. As much as I love knives and stuff like that, whenever I see silver, I don't know why. It's just a little extra exciting. Um, so, read on. Uh, uh, say junk halves. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be called that. <laughs> but sorry you didn't get any in your uh, latest coin roll hunt. So we got some more half dollars here. Silver half dollars. Super, super cool. I appreciate that. I mean, a great deal. I can't even begin to, to thank you for that. That's just awesome. Um, I'm gonna do a video in the future about debt and stuff like that, but uh, once once my obligations are, are paid off and stuff like that, I really would like to uh, invest in some silver again. You know, even if it's on a small scale, gotta do something, because the prices are down. It's ridiculously cheap right now. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll do another silver video in the near future, but it's awesome. Um, Okay, the fake Benza, or the faux Benza. <laughs> Let's stir the pot a little regarding your recent vids. Uh, can't afford this. Opinions. Uh, also, do what you want. It, uh, do what you want. Uh, EDC, etc. Yes, this is the, you can see the, the CR there. And we obviously know this is not, oh, that's tight. Um, yeah, uh, it's it seems pretty damn solid. I'm not going to lie. I mean, obviously, it's not the real deal. I really, really wish they didn't have that R there, and I just changed the design a little bit because it seems like a pretty damn decent knife. A little bit of play side to side. Nothing up and down, though. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to do a video on this. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what kind of feedback I get. But, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a video on this for you guys. So the, the fake... Little uh, mini Sabenza here, or small Sabenza. All right, we'll call it the Fabenza. There we go, it's a small Fabenza. And cheap Chinese knife, yep, it's another one of those. <laughs> EDC and review it, please. Uh, and then of course, he's talking about the San Ramu. Now actually, I don't have this one. This is a different model. I'm carrying the 710 right now, which a lot of people have been interested in seeing a review on. Don't have this one, this will uh, definitely pop up next then. Um. I love reading that little thing here, but anyway. All right. And then he wrote, uh, really enjoy the videos. Uh, food stuff, man. Wait a minute. Let me try that again. Really enjoy the vids. 
Good stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, the food stuff. <laughs> also, healthcare isn't for everyone. Uh, I've seen some shit stuff too. Oh, some sick stuff too. All right, I give up. I give up on reading. Apparently I can't read. Let's try this again. No outtakes, no editing. That's right, I screw up reading my stuff all the time because what I'm doing is I'm reading through the viewfinder which you guys can't see. And although it still should be clear, for some reason I fumble my words all the time. And healthcare isn't for everyone. I've seen some sick stuff too. Yes. So he's referring to obviously my uh, story time on uh, taking care of the elderly, which I of course will have more videos on in the future. So, and besides that, um, I want to mix it up a little bit. I have another story time I want to do on <laughs> a neighbor that um, both my father and I had taken care of for over a year, and in the end, we got screwed. And uh, it's, it's one of those things where we were just doing it to be nice, and in the end, I, I look like the bad guy. It's a really interesting story, and I love to tell it, so we'll see. I'm, I mean, I, of course, want to continue with the other story time videos uh, about the, um, the home, because I have lots of stuff to talk about regarding that. Um, but we'll see, I might throw in the other story in between or something. But anyway, Jack, thank you so much. Shout out to everyone from Brooklyn. Um, just awesome, awesome uh, little package here. Can't go wrong, knives, of course, silver, and uh, a keychain to boot. So that was just really, really cool of you. I really, really appreciate it. So that's all for this one, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. You're gonna see a review on this in the future. And when I do eventually stop carrying this, I might go right to this one. We'll see. I got a, quite a lineup of uh, stuff I have to EDC. In some cases, I'm carrying two, three knives in my pocket and alternating throughout the day. Uh, and in many cases, I do have to purposely, you know, go out of my way to cut stuff so I can, you know, turn around these knives and I don't have to wait, you know, three, four months to do a knife review. So anyway, we'll see what happens in the future, but you'll definitely see both of these uh, for reviews because I know a lot of people want to see the more, uh, you know, more affordable stuff. And definitely this. There's going to be a lot of people interested in seeing how this thing holds up, but... Okay, I'm back. That was the fake ending. Uh, as soon as I shut the camera off, I literally just saw this, and I'm like, what's this? I can't believe I didn't talk about this. Um, I didn't see it, honestly. <laughs> this is another uh, keychain tool. It says EDC gear. I have not seen this before. If people have information on this, uh, cool little, you know, looks like a, a keychain gadget. Bottle opener. Um, you know, obviously a little bit of a pry bar. And it's tapered down a little bit, too, for maybe a, a small flathead. Just an interesting little tool. We'll jump in on the top here. It's nice and polished up, nice and smooth. Feels like a, a solid little tool. So if you guys have information on that, um, definitely hit me up in the comments. i like for other people to know where they can get that. It seems really cool. So anyway, that's all. I just had to show that. It, it caught me off guard <laughs> as soon as I shut the camera off. I'm like, no, because I don't like redoing these videos. You know what I mean? It, it's got to be... It's got to be just, you know, your natural reaction to stuff. You can't be, you know, opening packages, looking through it, thinking about what you want to say. You just got to open that thing and just start talking. That's how I like doing these videos. So anyway, but I didn't want to forget that. I wanted to show it. So that's all. I'm really going right now. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon.